With breaking news tonight, we're one step closer to getting justice for a man who was falsely arrested in what's being called a revenge plot. Hello again, everyone. I'm Chris Safadi. And I'm Lois Tomey. Uh, Scott Snyder uh, was sentenced for working with a deputy to plant drugs on an innocent man. White News reporter Michael Hudak is live at the Lee County Courthouse. And Michael, how long will Snyder spend in jail for his role in all of this? Scott Snyder was sentenced to five years in state prison as a result of all of this. But guys, I got to tell you, the most powerful moment in the courtroom today was not anything to do with Snyder. It was actually when the victim who was suing the Lee County Sheriff's Office took the stand to testify. In front of a Lee County court judge, while Scott Snyder apologized for what he had done. I was scared myself. I just wanted to say I'm really sorry. Mark Riley, the man who was falsely arrested for drugs that were placed in his car by Snyder, was about to turn the hearing on its head. I appreciate your patience in the reading of my victim impact statement, Your Honor. Riley is suing the Lee County Sheriff's Office for false arrest and imprisonment, malicious prosecution, assault, and conspiracy, which translates to he is ticked off right now. According to this 400-page lawsuit, this all started back in 2018. Riley testified against a man named Charles Custodio in an insurance fraud case. The lawsuit lays out that following Mr. Custodio's release from prison in 2021, he contacted Lee County Sheriff Deputy Nico Irizarry and offered him a sexual relationship and dinner in Paris to have Mr. Riley arrested on felony drugs charges. It says Custodio also contacted a third defendant, Scott Snyder, who posed as a home buyer and gained access to Mr. Riley's car and planted the drugs. Deputies then staked out Mr. Riley, stopped his car for an alleged traffic violation at which time they found the drugs and arrested Mr. Riley. State would call Mark Riley. And in a dramatic turn of events, Riley testified about what this has done to him. Scott Snyder, if I had not known who to call or have the means to fund my own investigation, I'd be right now spending 40 plus years in prison for a crime I did not commit. And the physical trauma he said Snyder caused him. The stress you have caused my mind and body has taken its toll. In the late spring of 2022, I was diagnosed with cancer and gone through 19 rounds of radiation. Shortly after, the judge had heard enough. I think an appropriate sentence would be five years in the Department of Corrections. After the hearing, Riley's attorney spoke exclusively to Wink News. I'm very unsatisfied. Why? The result. Because he was, in fact, a major player. Now, you might be wondering why Riley is suing Sheriff Carmine Marcino as well. The lawsuit accuses Marcino and the Lee County State Attorney's Office of minimizing the security of the case by expunging records and failing to charge the deputy with the appropriate felonies for their illegal conduct. The Sheriff's Office did not respond to me at all today. For now, reporting live outside of the Lee County Courthouse, Michael Hudak, Wink News. All right, Michael.